Before I get into today's video, I want to let you guys know about Gameflip.com. Gameflip is a huge online marketplace for in-game items. If you guys are looking to buy or sell some Rocket League items that you have, I would definitely suggest checking this site out. Other than in-game items, you guys can also buy and sell Steam gift cards as well as a lot of other cards like iTunes gift cards, Amazon gift cards, and many others. What's going on guys, it's Iridium here and today I'm going to show you guys how to get basically any item you want and more on Alpha Console. If you guys do not know what Alpha Console is, it's an amazing little program that you can use to change your items to anything you want in Rocket League, as well as get custom titles and be able to show your MMR in game. This tutorial is going to be pretty straight to the point, I'm going to show you guys how to download Alpha Console and then I'm going to teach you guys how to use the key features of Alpha Console, which are changing your items and your car to anything you want, getting custom titles in game, and showing your MMR in game. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is make sure that you're in the alpha console discord this is basically the center of everything that's going on with alpha console and all the downloads and the recent updates will be found here so the link to the discord will be down in the description below and once you guys have that added to your list we'll get started with the rest so once you guys are in the discord you're going to want to go to the download chat channel and go click on this alpha console.zip file once you click on it it should just open up your web browser and download alpha console right away this download page will always have the latest version of alpha console so if you have an outdated version or anything you can go right here and download the newest version so once you guys have downloaded you can go into your downloads folder and find it here as you can see i've downloaded it a few times just to make this tutorial so it doesn't really matter for me but once you found it here just double click on it and extract it to wherever you like i personally have my alpha console folder extracted to my desktop so i can just easily access it when i turn on my computer and as i already have this i'm not going to bother installing it but you guys can just go through with it extract it onto your desktop and then move on so now we're moving on to our desktop we're going to click on our alpha console folder and then double click the alpha console exe file and once you guys open it up for the first time you should see something like this with a big gray box and just a bunch of kind of confusing things if you've never used Alpha Console before. So what we're going to do before we even touch anything in the Alpha Console, we're going to make sure we have Rocket League open. So I'm going to double click this and open it up. So once Rocket League is opened up, we're going to go right back into Alpha Console. And now this is where the fun begins. This is where you get to customize your car to anything you possibly could want it to be. Personally, for me, I just like to change my wheels and my boost to the Alpha items. So first, figure out what you guys want to change first. So say that you want to change your wheels to Alpha wheels. What you're going to do is hit new here and it just comes up with a new line here that you can change. So if you look up here, this column right here is the type of item you want to change it whether it's an antenna wheels boost whatnot that's what that is moving on this is the item that you want to have and then this is the item that you have on your car currently so i want to start off by changing my wheels so i'm going to pull this drop down menu down and click on wheels and then i want to have the alpha wheels which are the goldstone wheels so i'm going to leave that checked and then to replace i currently have septums on so what i'm going to do is go over here scroll down till i see septums and click that. And fair warning, it does not matter if your items are painted or not, just select the default item that it is and it will change it. So once you have this all set, you're just gonna hit save and apply. And you guys may notice that it might not change right away. So what you're gonna do if it does not change right away, you can just go into garage and then click view orange car and view blue car and it should just reset and pop up with your item. So lastly, to complete my car, I'm gonna go add my alpha boost. So I'm gonna click new here again, go to the drop down menu, click rocket boost, make sure gold rush is selected. And then I'm currently using sparkles. So I'm gonna scroll down to that, hit sparkles, save and apply. And then what you can do is go into garage customize car click on your boost just to make sure it's working and it is currently there so as you guys can see it's really easy to change to any item you like so just play around with it have fun with it make the car of your dreams and enjoy it so for the next part of this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to get a custom title under your name as you can see here mine just says lightning flash iridium and a nice purple color that i have access to because i am a partner with alpha console and the titles are all handled in the discord so we're going to head right over there and then i'll show you how to do it so we're back in the discord and we're going to scroll down to this general channels category and click set title and i don't really need to teach you guys how to do this because you could easily just read through this and it shows you how to do it very easily but i'm gonna do it anyways in case some of you guys are like a monkey see monkey do kind of person so there's two things you want to make sure you have linked before you start changing your title and first thing you want to make sure is have your steam account linked to your discord so to do that you go into your user settings of discord go into connections and click on steam here it should pop up in your browser to type in your username and password so you can link the steam and once everything is typed in it should be linked and good to go and once you guys have linked your steam you're going to go down to this next link right here which links your discord with the alpha console website so just click login with discord and then click authorize and you should be good to go successfully added player data okay now that everything is linked we're just going to go down to this chat box down here and as you can see up here you just type exclamation point set space title and then whatever you want so i'm going to type exclamation point set title i can't type and then i'm just going to type iridium 
So once that is linked, you'll get a DM from the Alpha console itself that says your custom title has been set to Iridium. Side note, make sure you always hit save and apply after you change your title just so it goes through smoothly. So I'm going to restart this game and it should be saved. And now we can see here that my title now says Iridium, but there's no color to it. So we're going to go back into Discord and select a color to use. Setting your title color is similar to setting your actual title name. So what you do is exclamation point set color and as you guys can see here these are all the colors that are separated by numbers that you can pick from so for this title i want the rlcs blue color and that is number seven so what i'm going to do is just add a seven after my color there hit enter and then get another dm and it says my custom color has been set to seven which is the rlcs blue and i'm going to make sure i go back into alpha console hit save and apply and then we'll go back into rocket league once again i'm just restarting the match so it resets the whole title and there you have it my title is now an rlcs blue color it says iridium and it's pretty sweet one thing i forgot to mention in alpha console is to make sure that you have used static titles selected for your title to show if you guys want to learn about dynamic titles you can just click this info box back here it just basically switches between two different titles that you can set by yourself and then obviously disable titles just disables them completely so finally for the tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to show your mmr in your game and this is probably the simplest thing possible in alpha console all you need to do is just check this display mmr and mmr updates in game click save and apply and then you should be able to see them in game so for a test we'll go into a ranked doubles game and see if we can see our mmr all right so as we can see here if we hold the scoreboard up we can see the mmrs of all the players in the game and once the game is finished it'll show how many points we won or lost depending on what happens all right so i ended up losing that game and as you guys can see it shows that i lost 10 points for that so that's really nice and helpful to have instead of having to tab out go to a website and check how much you lost you can just see it right here after a game keep playing Alright guys, so that was my tutorial on how to use Alpha Console and its key features. I hope this helped you guys if you were considering getting Alpha Console or if you were confused on how to use it. If you have any questions about it or if you can't get anything to work, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Once again, the link to the Alpha Console Discord is in the description below. Fair warning, this was not a sponsored or paid video by Alpha Console. I just really love the program and love the people behind it, so I thought I'd make a video on it for you guys and for people that might not know about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already and as usual i will see you guys on thursday with a brand new video and on that note top top for now I got